Right, so this is the TSAC meeting for Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Um, we'll start with attendance. I'll we'll start. Mm -hmm. Gabe Trujillo present. Mike present. Denny Palacios present. Alejandro present. William Coates present. Matthew Rathbun present. Um, so we don't quite meet quorum unless someone else joins. Um, and Kristen is present. Thank you. She's on a plane right now. Um, someone want to read the mission statement? Mike? Why not? To support the evolving needs of the MSU Denver students by advocating in their best interest to enhance the university experience and opportunities. So we don't have quorum to technically approve the agenda, um, but just go right on to updates. Um, so Mike? Um, what is it? Oh, there's a board meeting last week. Um, there's a lot of notes there. Um, I think I'm pretty little sick. But um, so one big thing that's happening on campus, which I'm really cool that to see is um, there's a program called Mile High Misters coming to campus. Um, we had a huge presentation by them last week, and it was great. They did amazing. Um, and they presented to the whole board of trustees. But um, basically, they're coming here from um, South Carolina, and um, their mission is to kind of um, enhance, um, like try to get more, um, black male teachers into the workforce. So having more people, um, more representation in terms of diversity when it comes to teaching, um, especially like preschool through, t uh, 12k. So, um, they'll be around campus. Um, I'm in contact with the person who's kind of, um, leading that charge down here. Um, and they've asked, um, to be included in anything student government does. And if anything, we can help them f with a few of their conferences coming up. So I'll keep you all in, uh, updated on that. There's more, but, um, no, I don't have my notes in front of me. Um, I'll have that for next week, though. Is that the Call Me Mister? Yes. That's what it's called, yes. Because that was also sent out in the early bird this morning. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, so say Cab, Gabe, and Kristen. Awesome. Okay. So. Um, I don't think there's a lot to report on yet. We haven't met yet. Uh, we only meet on the first and third Tuesday of every month. Not month. Yeah, every month. So because of that, we just haven't met. Um, so there's not really a big update. I, I think right now what we're doing and stuff, we are, pre we are preparing um, to kind of do like a little open house type of thing for the, the Tivoli 230 space, which is now named Ziggy's Hub. Um, and that's like, from what I know, we're, we're also looking into other uh, resolutions, um, regarding just like funding regarding, uh, help with like uh, helping, um, AS, ASCP with AHA week. And yeah, that's all that I have on my end. I don't know if Kristen has anything else. Kristen is typing. Um, oh, looks like she doesn't have anything additional bank. They're naming the old credit union Siggy's Hub. Yeah, yeah. No, so because of the name Ziggy's Hub, because it's already you know like it already has that history behind it, um, of being a, of like a communal place or some type of form. Um, I think that's why we, well, that's why I advocated for it to be called Ziggy's Hub because if it's already going to be a space for students to hang out and students already know or at least students who've been here already associate to GitHub with that area. So that's why we push for that. It was either that or like Club 230. <laughs> so I was like, this is, this is not the Mickey Mouse House Club, not you know, this is the GitHub. <laughs> cool. Are they moving the sign? One day. One day we'll have the time moved. It's just, uh, what's it called? Like wired into the wall. <laughs> and so we can't move that yet what until it's done. Yeah. A uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. What was the room number again? Yeah, Tivoli 230. Yeah. That, that was fun. Thanks. Sweet. Well, Reed's not here. It's you, Ali. 
Yeah, he's on the phone with Naomi trying to get her in. So it's it's you. Um, for the budget committee, there isn't really much of an update except that we're f getting close to finalizing the guidelines and procedures into um, allowing student orgs to request funds from TSAC. Yeah. Awesome. Um, OK. Um, and then we have sustainability committee. Naomi's trying to get in, so we're going to give her a minute. I'm so sorry. Oh, they have she's the PR here. Committee. I believe Naomi is here. She's she's working on being here. Yeah. Oh. I also... No, this is something else. It's, I don't know. I don't see her. Well, but it's you either way. It's the PR committee. It's you and Matt. Well, I wanted to touch base really quick um, <laughs> in regards to the Judiciary Committee. Um, I want to thank everybody for filling out who's present here today for filling out the harm reduction training um, survey. Um, we still have a couple of people to reach out to to fill it out, but we're well on the way to try and figure out which date works best. Kenny, can you send um, Naomi the link for the meeting today? Thank you, Kenny. Can we let Kenny take care of that and proceed? Naomi, can you hear us? I can hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Yes, there we go. Yes, how is your sword fighting hand? <laughs> um, absolutely disrespectful. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was, I'm so sorry. No, not you. I'm just, that, I was, that was strictly a joke. Yeah, it's Oh, fine. I was like, oh, <laughs> dang. Yeah, I get We're surgery on alive. Tuesday. Okay, we're happy you're alive. We're happy, yeah, we're happy you're alive and that you, yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah, happy that you're good. How did you, did you get any injuries from eating shit on your scooter? <laughs> Naomi, we are, we're an official meeting, so we're, we're gonna hold it on the, no, stop it. Um, You think I would uh, care if we're in a meeting or not? We should, I... we should, we should care, we should care. We had an announcement last week about like, maybe just, just a tiny bit, uh, but I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Uh, I fell off my scooter. Um, I um, just hit my side. I was padded like the Michelin mascot. So um, we're okay. We're here. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm glad that you're okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, let's keep going with the PR. Yeah. So PR committee, we created this flyer for the King Supers Community Awards Program. Um, that we're distributing across campus with Campus Communications. Um, I hit the president's office yesterday and most of everywhere in JSSB. I also have some extra flyers if people want to take them and hand them out in their respective areas. And then we're going to work on flyering the whole campus um, and get it also published in Met Media. Um, and then we voted last week that we were going to table during the beginning of AHA week, the Auraria Homeless and Hunger Awareness Week. Um, so I sent a sign up sheet in the chat earlier today, if everyone can fill that out um, soon or later, just so we can see who can make it to which parts of that tabling event. Um, and then in the coming weeks, we'll be planning for um, food for finals. Thank you for doing all of that work, Matt. That yeah. looks awesome. Um, yeah, that, that flyer looks good. I and like John it. John helped out with the video. Cool. Um, I can keep going. Um, so sustainability committee, Naomi, do you have any updates? Um, yeah, just that um, Gabe and I are working on contacting some people at the school just to kind of get some collaborative efforts going with some statistics that can better pro um, create a structure for how we're going to propose this ant flow project out to the rest of the university. So it's in the midst um, of working. And as soon as my hand feels up to it, we will, or after I recover from surgery, we'll probably have some more um, better um, progressive steps. But yeah, thank you. And Mike, and then mm. I'll be in the stack. Hi, hi, Nam. I just have a quick question. Any word from your co-chair on the sustainability fronts? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I didn't put him in any of our messages because he didn't show up to our uh, last meeting with Cassie. I think I don't remember what the reason was, but um, yeah, so I just put Gabe in on that because I didn't assign him to do anything um, just because I thought he was busy, but I can reach out and check with him as well. That's my bad. Honestly, I just forgot to reach out because, well, my hand, my fingers okay. were still okay. open, so... And then Naomi and Gabe, uh, when you feel better, Naomi, I'd like to meet with you all to circle back around on that grant idea and connecting with Richard with the health center on that as well. Um, the grant for the ant flow project, or are we talking with something else? Um, the urban farming stuff. Uh, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. My capacity at this point is very much full. So I'm going to have to back out on that. But Gabe, if you want to be, you know, involved in that, I completely encourage you. Um, but yeah, with this surgery and my recovery and exams, um, and I have to navigate how to do everything with one hand now, um, which when you do research, it's actually quite hard, apparently. Um, so I want to focus on that and making sure that I graduate. So yeah. I appreciate that uh, boundary there. Um, I also just want to let you know this is more like planning to and like gathering information and stuff more for next year, next school year than like making a rush like right now. Uh, I also can meet with you, Naomi, and I will I'll take care of it too. Yeah, th let's help you get that off your plate. I, I can help with that on. Yeah, I can I can help with that too. Yep. Awesome. Right. Sounds good, guys. Sounds good. Um, any open floor announcements? Gabe? Okay, y'all. So, so, you know, because we're student government reps, right, we're here to use our voice to represent students and all that fun stuff. But I think another big part of that is here to also be there and support our students when they're presenting, you know, whenever they're doing things, you know, being out there in the community with our student body and cheering them on. And so with that, um, today is the grand opening of the... BFA, yes, BFA Seniors Thesis, Art Thesis Project at the Center for Visual Arts that's in the Art District here in Denver, close by Santa Fe and other streets. I don't know, some other streets. Um, and so I just invite everyone there, you know, to show up, be there for our students. From what I know, I believe it runs through the entire week of November. Um, and so, you know, these are their senior art thesis projects. They've worked their entire things up until this point. Some, you know, have been doing this for years. Um, and so I think it's a great way to just celebrate our students. So, yeah, cool. Denny and then, oh, I have more of a dark response to that. Um, can you send us that so we can put them the um, Instagram and so we can all know the hours and stuff because that might be something to do over the weekend as well. Yeah, definitely. I'll I'll get the flyer there because I'm I'm going tonight for this grand opening, and and I'll send you any 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 promotional things that I can find. Sounds good. Appreciate Great. it, Denny. Um, I was reached out by some students about um the announcements that the university has with Lockheed Martin, given the political climate and the international situation with Palestine and Israel. Um, students are asking if we are considering to put it in the, to make like a referendum around the university because Columbia State just did it. Columbia State, students at Columbia State just voted to uh, end the endowments and um, I'm sorry, the the funding from our weapon manufacturers. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces because again, uh, schools like Columbia, they have they have a budget crisis. They have they they get ten more students in, and then suddenly they have a surplus. Uh, Lockheed Martin is a really big partner for the school, um, so it's going to take a lot of work. But I think if students are asking for it and it's something that is coming up with our student body, then we should definitely take a look into it. And that is it. Thank you, Denny. Any other open floor announcements? 
Okay, do we have anything for the faculty staff Senate, Denny? Sorry? Do we have anything around the faculty oh, staff Senate? My bad. Uh, yes. The policy that I discussed last uh, last meeting about just formalizing returning money for withdrawal of classes to the federal government, speaking like specifically in like military and veterans, um, the, the faculty Senate just did a first read this um, this past Wednesday. So we're working on, I mean, they're working on it. I am not a voting member. I'm just, I'm just there to advise. Um, but it, they have started working it. It is something that the faculty Senate has taken into the, the, the university. Give me a second. There are so many of them. Um, the academic policy. I'm sorry. The academic uh, policy committee. Yes, they are the ones that are taking care of formalizing this policy. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Denny. Um, the transitional committee with Will. Um, we met this uh, past Wednesday and. There was a lot of fruitful talks about pushing forward within. Can you all still hear me from my screen? Yes. All right. Give us one sec. We're having some technical difficulties. Okay. Or wait. There we go. Never mind. Okay. Um, there's been some fruitful talks about pushing EBT machines across campus. Um, what that looks like is. Well, we're still in the works of that, so we're not even entirely sure what that looks like, but we're following the right steps to hopefully get that done um, sooner rather than later. Um, other than that, there were some talks about supporting our SACAB representatives. And what's the faculty one? FACAB and hopefully attaining a vote. So. I think, uh, was there anything else, Matt? You were there in that meeting, but I think uh, those were the two most important points. Yeah, so on the SNAP machines, uh, Leo with um, CCD is in contact with the Denver Human Services rep. We're trying to gather more information on the actual process for it and then communicating with the right people on campus. Uh, to get those implemented. Um, and then it sounded like they got different information on the strategic plan than what we got in our last meeting. So we're going to try and continue the conversation with them and see what might be different. Uh, yes, uh, uh, that's it. Any advisor updates? Hi, um, the only update I have is just a reminder that President's Cabinet is coming up um, next week. So just a reminder about that, I think Matt is going to be uh, representing TSAC. And if, can you just confirm Matt on that to, so we can make sure that there's representation there? Um, if for some reason you can't attend, um, that's the only real big thing that I have going on right that I can think of right now. Sorry, y'all. I'm really sick today. So, yeah, I think that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Brown, and hope you feel better soon. I should be able to make it um, to the president's cabinet meeting, but if anybody else wants to join as well, more than welcome. Naomi, I know you have a... Uh, um... Thank you, Matt. And Naomi, I know you have a, a lot going on right now. Um, but you guys just did something really cool, cool with 
the the STEM conference that you guys went to and how we, uh, I mean, TSOC was a little bit involved in the process. So I don't know if you want to go and talk to them about it. Um, yeah. Um, when is it again? It's Wednesday, I believe. I don't know. I don't oh, have hell no. I can't. I mean, I would love to. Don't get me wrong. But like literally surgery is Tuesday. Um, that makes sense. Sure, yeah. I'm, I don't okay. think I'll be ready to go by. Uh, hopefully by Friday I'll be good. But definitely not by Wednesday or Thursday. No, you're good. Just yeah. Okay. Only thing I can say is thank y'all for voting on the logo. I got the final edits. Um, I'm waiting until I see the designer on Monday to get variations, and I'll send it out to you all. That's really it. Thank you, Armando. Oh, and really quick, Armando, um, I'll send you the flyer for the King Supers Rewards Program if we can get that on our website, because um, I'm working with communications, um, and they want to direct to like uh, an official MSU Denver website uh, to post it in the runner. But I'll email you about that as well. Um, so we're a couple minutes before, but I figure we'll open up to public comment if anybody shows up, but kind of move on while we're doing that since I don't see any public here in person or online at the moment. Oh, if Kenny has some housekeeping. Yeah, so I've been informed by uh, Dr. Simkins assistant that he will be coming in next week. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, um, let me know and I'll get that relayed to his assistant on by next Tuesday. And really quick and I'll get to you. Um, another housekeeping thing is in the next week or two, um, AHEC is going to come by and do carpet cleaning. So if anybody sees the sign that they're going to put on our door a couple of days before, please let everybody know so we can make sure all our furniture is put up for them to make it easy. Oh. What day? Um, it's coming up in the next like week or two. Okay. Um, they'll put up a flyer on our door like two, three days beforehand. Okay. And then we'll... Uh, just one direct res uh, response to Kenny, or more like a re question. Uh, uh, I don't, I didn't hear, but why exactly is Will Simpkins stopping by? Um, so I feel like it's uh, kind of just like regular for Dr. Simpkins to just come stop by, um, check up, and see what's up with student government, and if he can question any, uh, if he can answer any questions. Speaking of uh, Dr. Simkins, have you guys looked at the email of uh, the committee on student engagement, success engagement? They've been asking for one of us to attend, uh, but they were not. I, I responded the email and I just asking like what days and at what times and I haven't. Nobody has responded yet. This is mostly about like the community hour and. And those things that they're trying to implement for to, to have more students engage on campus so it feels less like a community campus. Uh, he's busy, so I'm going to just go. Just a direct response to what you were saying. Um, I do remember Will Simpkins coming up to me and asking if we had picked someone out for that. Um, I'm sure he'll bring it up when he comes by um, if we don't have someone for him by then. So... It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, I would I would just love dates and times. That's all. Yeah. Agreed. Structure. <laughs> Structure. Do you have some will? Real quick, um, I've been in the office a few times and I know Kenny, Mike, and a few others were trying to get that place cleaned up and I know the carpet uh, AHEC is going to, you know, clean the carpet and whatnot. Um, I was wondering if it's possible to get a group of us and, like, after they do that, to organize the office, make it more presentable. 
Yeah, a little fun, fun, quote unquote, yeah. team building project right there. There we go. I think we can do that. Um, so on our old business, um, we have the community standards that we brought up. Um, if we want, I think we could bring up the document, maybe talk about that. Um, since I know she wants input on it, if we want to do that as a part of the meeting today or just go to Denny's and everybody still put their input on that later. Um, actually, for mine, um, I was given the, the little flyer and I did a little bit more research over the weekend and the deadline for that is closed, uh, but I, I am going, it closed back in September. Um, oh, <laughs> I know someone someone gave us a, the information uh, a little too late. Uh, they gave it to me a couple of weeks ago, but Denver Inc. is pretty cool. Uh, I did send an email to see what we could do with them. Other than that, I have. Yeah, if we can do a partnership with them. Other than that, I have I have nothing else. Yeah, I'm going to table just the Denver Inc. partnership for, for a while until I figure out what we're doing with them. All right. Sounds good on that. Do we want to discuss the community norms and standards today? Um, I think we should still stay on for another like eight minutes just for the public comment time frame. Um, but unless anybody has other business, I figure wait for public comment and potentially adjourn. I guess if we have these couple of minutes, I'd like to say some stuff. Go for it. <laughs> Um, uh, so me and Matt have been working on these, uh, tabling dates and, um, you know, locations, and we definitely want input from the council as to if they can meet those tabling dates and locations. Of course, um, we're extremely flexible and we'll make it work for everyone in this council, but, um, we do need your input, right? So. If you have some time today or, you know, whenever you can, just please come up to us and we can talk and, you know, make something work for you guys. With that, um, our next two tabling events are the one during AHA week and then food for finals, which is usually the um, Tuesday, Wednesday of finals week. Um, I'll be working on that one um, probably starting next week. Uh, to start planning that out. Um, so those are really the last two for this semester. And then trying to more plan for next semester. So if it does take some time for everybody to figure out their schedules for next semester, that's totally fine. Um, but with the tabling stuff as well, um, we do have some stuff we are going to have on our table during AHA week, including the King Supers Wards program stuff. Um, a general survey and anybody who has another initiative they want to bring to those tabling events that's more what I want sooner than later so then we can get them all finalized and ready for the tabling events um, one I was thinking of was like Denny your thing on the community hour yeah. and other questions you may want around that Mike my one concern with tabling, and this is for you two to figure out, is that I'm concerned that the same amount of people will end up doing this tabling when there's mm -hmm. a few people who probably will not show up to the tabling event at a protest. I mean, I have, I'm not going to table. I'm not going to pick up their slack. If they're not going to be tabling, then I'm not going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it either. So I'll let, I'll let you I'll let y'all reach out to the people who haven't showed up to any of our events. And, and 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 what's what's the term? Include them in is that what we use in restorative justice? Include them yeah. in. I'll call let you include them. them in. In. Calling them in, yes, before I call them out. So I'll just put that out there now. All right. And we're just asking to try and meet the requirements from the resolution that we passed. Um, if you just meet that requirement and you can't make it other times, that's really the most we can ask for at this point. Um. We will definitely worry about that, but I ask the counselors who are here and part of 
more so part of TSAC to remember to do their part, regardless of the actions of other counselors. I'm not at, we're not asking for you to compensate for their uh, inactions, but more so just do your part. And if there's any table event, I would ask for more leniency on that. Um, if you could is uh, food for finals, because um, that is such a big impactful one for students more than some of our other tabling events. Do we still have extra time or? About four minutes. Real quick, I've been reaching out to the Phoenix Center to try to see if we can do some type of collaborative uh, work or effort. Um, I think they're a very important resource on campus that is that could be used more and brought more attention to. Um, if anyone's interested, I'm just putting the offer out there that I am reaching out to them and trying to get them to work with TSAC more. Just waiting to see what else she has to say. She looks like she's typing. For President's Cabinet, we do have to sign up to, we want to give an update. So I think if we want to give an update, we should probably work on something this week to figure out what we're telling okay. the Cabinet. Uh, if we, if there is something, like we want to talk about initiatives, um, super short, two minutes. Um, yeah, but we, I think we have been doing things, so we should probably let the university know. What's what's going on? I'll also be meeting with Met Media in the next week to talk about the food pantry work that we've been doing. Do we still have time? Like three minutes. Awesome. I have a question for the budget committee. Actually, technically eight because public comment goes to one fifteen. I have, a, I have a question for the chair of the budget committee. Yep. <laughs> um, can you just uh, potentially update the council on the fruitful, fruitful work you've been doing? So what exactly do you want to know? Do you want to see like how much money each committee has or like what exactly is it that you want to hear the, the reforms coming here i'm gonna answer that um there's like seven pages of reforms coming to the budget committee um the guidelines guardrails right now i'm waiting for our advisors to look at them but monday i'm gonna send them out and i'm gonna ask the council for a few ideally i'd like our advisors to look at them before monday but um stuff's gotta get done and i'm not waiting so awesome thank you Since we aren't going to necessarily discuss today, I still want to ask everyone to look at Ree's document and give feedback as well, if you have not already. Yes. yes. Quick question. Has uh, everyone done Ree's survey here present? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Also, if I, the only one that has given me feed, feedback on the survey and community hour has been Gabe. But, um, did you guys take a look at it? Are you guys? Yes. Um, I haven't. I'll be honest. But when did you post that? So I will I repost that. it when we get out of this meeting and have access to a computer. And how would you like your feedback? Uh, just email me. Gabe sent me a Teams chat. Thank you, Gabe. Yeah. Um, okay. 
yeah so just talk to me please uh, there is no more. I need to update it because also there is no more uh, time frame, specific time frame. Uh, Gabe has Gabe's input was that we should add if putting a community hour will push people's times and then therefore affect their time. I mean their ability to take classes. So I'm gonna switch that. So if you can think of something okay. else, let me know. I have uh, heard some concerns from some students that this community hour would be detrimental to them. So I just want to make sure I'm voicing their concerns here in front of TSAC. Um, so as soon as I get the chairs, like all of the chairs emails, I am like this will probably be next week. You will all get a number of chairs that you need to reach out. You I'm <laughs> probably going to have just you and Reed split grad school. Um, but other than that, that thing is going to go out live next week. I have a list of all the chairs as huh? well. Sorry? I have a list of all the chairs emails and stuff too. You want to send that to me so I'm right. not waiting for someone else. That would be great. Thank you. And now I think we're just kind of while we wait, um, I'd like to know for the record, Kenny, um, is there anything we can do to help better help you, your job? And I want to make sure your your concerns are also heard. You are a part of TSAC, so. <laughs> Give me a second, let me think. <laughs> and we're also open to any comments from anybody online too. If anybody else has any last things to say? Probably just for some housekeeping stuff. Um, weekly agenda requests, just keep in mind, it closes at 10.30 on Thursdays. So um, if you have something you want to put in, put it in before that time. Uh, I think this is just courtesy in general with um, follow-up. If you have something that's very important, please follow up because I might forget. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I think it's just basic clean up after yourselves in the office. Um, if you're the last one that's out for the day, please make sure the door is locked and, and closed properly yeah, and closed properly. And I think that's about all I have for now. And yeah. Thank you, Kenny. I might say that we only have like about a minute left and we don't have anybody in the stack for public comment, so I would vote to adjourn the meeting. I motion to adjourn this meeting. I second it. Yay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? <laughs> Any abstentions? Um, we had enough, at least in person, vote for it, so we adjourn the meeting.